backlash over his united conservative government's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Tyler Shandro has been shuffled out of the health file and into labor and immigration, swapping positions with Jason Copping. Kenny insists leaving the role was Shandro's idea, and he shrugged off criticism of his own handling of the pandemic. My ultimate responsibility in this context is to protect the health care system to avoid large-scale preventable deaths, regardless of the political consequences. It requires leadership, not everybody uh, agrees with. Kenny says he won't be resigning and has agreed to a leadership review at a later time. Meantime, Alberta's NDP leader Rachel Motley says the timing of the provincial government's decision to ask for help from Ottawa for the growing COVID hospital crisis was political. This government made a political decision to delay asking for help that was required within our health care system until after the federal election. They put the, the politics of the Conservative Party writ large ahead of the needs of Albertans and those frontline health care workers who are working desperately in our uh, hospitals to keep people alive. Premier Kenny admitted last week his government was wrong to lift virtually all public health restrictions July 1st. Alberta has since seen a surge in COVID cases and unprecedented stress on its health care system. It is Ontario's turn to implement a COVID vaccine certificate system in a bid to keep businesses open and as safe as possible from virus transmission. Many businesses say they aren't sure how the program will be received, but they hope its rollout will be smooth. Patrons at dine-in restaurants, nightclubs, gyms, sports facilities, and other venues will need to present a receipt of full vaccination against COVID-19 along with government-issued identification starting Wednesday. New Brunswick's vaccine passport system went into effect at midnight local time. After a status quo election Monday, all federal political party leaders are facing questions about whether they are the right person to represent their caucus anymore. At a press conference Tuesday, the Conservatives' Aaron O'Toole defended his party's performance under his leadership, which saw no gains in the party's total number of seats so far. I'm proud of the gains we made last night for the first time in a decade back in Newfoundland and Labrador. Some new members of our caucus from across the country, some new generation of talent, and we're closer in dozens upon dozens of ridings, but not close enough. I want to earn that trust of Canadians. The final results are still being counted in some ridings as Elections Canada works its way through large numbers of mail-in ballots. And former U.S. President Donald Trump is suing his estranged niece and the New York Times over a bombshell 2018 story about his family's wealth and tax practices that was based on confidential documents 